The noblest pleasure is the joy of understanding. Learning never exhausts the mind. Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. Time stays long enough for anyone who will use it. I love those who can smile in trouble, who can gather strength from distress, and grow brave by reflection. Tis the business of little minds to shrink, but they whose heart is firm and whose conscience approves their conduct will pursue their principles unto death. Poor is the pupil who does not surpass his master. It had long since come to my attention that people of accomplishment rarely sat back and let things happen to them. They went out and happened to things. I have been impressed with the urgency of doing. Knowing is not enough. We must apply. Being willing is not enough. We must do. All our knowledge has its origins in our perceptions. Life well spent is long. Common sense is that which judges the things given to it by other senses. Knowledge of the past and of the places of the earth is the ornament and food of the mind of man. Men of lofty genius, when they are doing the least work, are most active. Nothing strengthens authority so much as silence. There are three classes of people. Those who see, those who see when they are shown, and those who do not see. The greatest deception men suffer is from their own opinions. Art is never finished, only abandoned. Tears come from the heart and not from the brain. While I thought that I was learning how to live, I have been learning how to die. Marriage is like putting your hand into a bag of snakes in the hope of pulling out an eel. Intellectual passion drives out sensuality. The human foot is a masterpiece of engineering and a work of art. Why does the eye see a thing more clearly in dreams than the imagination would awake? Iron rusts from disuse. Water loses its purity from stagnation. Even so, does an action sap the vigor of the mind? 67 T's easier to resist at the beginning than at the end. I have offended God and mankind because my work didn't reach the quality it should have. Who sows virtue reaps honor. In rivers, the water that you touch is the last of what has passed, and the first of that which comes, so with present time, 